Hi guys, this is Sarah from The Savvy Professor. In today's video, I'll discuss the differences between Git and Perforce. Watch till the end to know the final verdict on which is better. But first, let's start with the differences. So the main difference between them is functionality. Perforce is a proprietary system, necessitating conduct with its developers for initial purchases and licensures. This applies to all its solutions, such as server software, asset managers, and applications. On the contrary, Git is an open source, thus allowing switching between commercial options and services. Therefore, Git offers more flexibility in its functionality, as its functionality is not restricted to any specified infrastructure. Speed Effective development tools should be quick in pulling, committing, and pushing operations. Since Git can operate offline, it's much faster than Perforce in operations such as creating branches and checking out files. Committing operations with Git is much faster as the committed files are stored locally and can be pushed or uploaded in the background. In contrast, each operation with Perforce has to be synchronized with a server, which can slow down the process at hand. Therefore, Git is quicker in pulling, pushing, and committing operations. File Locking Git doesn't offer powerful file locking mechanisms. Its file locking operations rely on its LFS module, which is less reliable than Perforce's file locking systems. Perforce encompasses an inbuilt file locking system, ensuring files are securely locked. Perforce has more effective and reliable file locking mechanisms. But do they have any similarities? Git and Perforce have various similarities in their makeup and functionality. For instance, they both support numerous integrations with other plugins for enhanced effectiveness. Also, they both support continuous integration and deployment, CI or CD, thus capable of automating building, testing, and other related operations. To sum up, which is better, Git or Perforce? I found Perforce to be a good option because it offers secure and reliable file locking services. However, Git is a much better option because of its flexibility in functionality, allowing shifting from service options, and its impeccable speed in pulling, committing, and pushing operations. I choose Git as the winner due to its cost, speed, and flexibility, enabling switching between service options during program development. Feel free to check out the products from the links in our description. Thanks for watching. Till next time.